in this second video about the data moving plugin we will show various ways user can trigger complex data interaction by dragging and manipulating UI elements. Programming this interaction is very easy and can be done in a simple declarative way. Just a few lines of code may be required if we would like to customize further the interactions. In our first example, bidirectional communication channels that we create between UI elements allow the user to have both a graphic representation of data and a simple way to manipulate them in a graphic way. In order to plot data, we need just to drag them on the plot area. This way this way, this way. Once we have done this, if we modify data points, modifications are immediately reflected on the plot. We can modify point values We can add new points or we can remove existing points. Vice versa, if we edit the plot by, by moving its points, data are updated immediately. Obviously, if we submit the form to the server, all changes are sent to the action method. So if the action method redraw the page again, all changes will be kept. The code to accomplish all this is uh, straightforward. This code creates the grids we have in our page and close it in a jQuery UI tab. This is one of div of the divs we dragged into the plot area. The reference knockout custom binding declare declare it as a a representative of all grid data while this code declare it as a drag source for data point sets. This is the div that contains the our plots the 
chart binding connects the plot to a model property where to store data and at the same time the reference binding declare it as a representative of this data. Finally, we declare this div as a drop target. of the data sync type. This means the drag and drop operations creates a bidirectional communication channels between the two controls involved. That's why modification done on the grid were reflected on the plot and vice versa. The, our second example is more complex. We have uh, three directories containing customers' information and uh, some emails templates. Our purpose is to send different emails to some customers of the three directories with the help of the emails templates. We can select which directory to work with by creating a bidirectional channel between the D1, G2 or G3 directories. This can be accomplished by just by dragging them on the grid. As a consequence of, of this bidirectional communication channel, all modifications done on the grid are reflected on the directory's data. We can modify the email templates by creating a bidirectional, a bidirectional communication channels between them and the edit area that we have in our page. Accordingly, all changes done in the edit area are Im immediately reflected on the email template. In order to send an email to a, a customer, we drop the customer in the mail grid on any of the already existing rows. A binding occurs immediately between the customer record and the a newly created row in the email grid. As a consequence of this binding, the fields of the email are filled with information taken from the customer record. The way this binding is performed can be controlled and customized with the naming conventions 
and with HTML5 attributes. In order to use an email prototype, we need just to drag it on the email. A binding occurs immediately and uh, as a consequence of this binding all variable we have in the templates in the template are filled with information taken from the email when we click the email content button we can see the email content we have created this way. As we can see, the name variable has been filled with the actual name, actual name of the customer. Beyond the curtain, when we perform this click operation, a bidirectional channel, communication channel is created between the grid row and the edit area we have in the screen. As a consequence of this bidirectional channel, if we change the email template of the email, the content of the edit area, area will change immediately. Vice versa, if we modify the content of the email in the edit area, this modification will be reflected in the actual grid row containing the email. As we can see, all changes have been kept in the grid row. As uh, we have already discussed in our first video, all controls of the data moving plugin are completely compatible with the jQuery UI styling framework. That's all for now. In the next video, we will review and classify all controls available in the data moving plugin. And we will show how they allow an easy reusability of the code we write to define their settings.